Welcome to my new series, What's Cooking, Tony? I'm here at Easton Town Center's Smith & Walensky, and today we're going to take a look through the cooking glass and find out what Chef Josh has cooking for us today. Hi, Josh. Hi. What's cooking? Today we're going to be making lobster mac and cheese and our cocoa and coffee crusted filet. Um, we're going to start out with our lobster mac and cheese. That's my fave. We're going to do, we're going to take our bar blanched Melbourne macaroni. We're going to add that into our Mornay sauce, which is basically a small sauce from uh, Bechamel, which is one of the five mother sauces. We're going to get that hot. What's the Bechamel sauce? A Bechamel is um, milk thickened with a blonde root and seasoned with an onion bouquet, which is an onion bouquet, it's just an onion wedge with a baby filling to the and that's that, we add the Mornay, cook out the root for 20 minutes, and that's how we get our small sauce for our pasta. We get that in there, get that going, and then we add that into our casserole dish. We want to have a lot of sauce there, then we're going to top it with our cheese mixture, which is uh, cheddar cheese and mozzarella. Oh, that's looking so good, Josh. And we're gonna put that. Next is our truffle bread crumbs, which is bread crumbs, butter, uh, truffle oil. Oh, well, that's easy enough. And shaved black truffles. And here we have two ounces of our uh, chopped lobster meat, um, which will go on top of here. We're just going to throw this into the oven at 350. And that's it. Josh, what are we making next? Now we're going to be making our cocoa and coffee crusted filet. Um, this is one of our new items on our menu for our summer menu. It's very popular. Um, we're using a huge 14 ounce filet mignon barrel cut there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add all the, big filet. <laughs> we're gonna add the ingredients. Here we have uh, our coffee, which is regular. Um, now, can anybody do this at home? Anybody can make this at home, very easy. All these ingredients are uh, take probably notes, already have it. Take notes, fans. And then we have porcini powder, which is porcini mushroom, just dry, brown. We're gonna add that. Then we have cinnamon, which is gonna help with the bitterness from the cocoa. Okay. Then a kosher salt. Why kosher instead of just regular salt? Kosher salt just opens up the, uh, the pal your palate much better than your uh, iodized steak salt. Okay. Gets better flavor. This is our cocoa. Okay. Not together. So, is there an actual science to the amount of everything that you just put in there? Because you were just dumping. Yes. What it is, it's um, basically the cocoa powder and the um, in the coffee. It's uh, two to one. You two want to have one? yeah, okay. two to one, and everything else is the one. So basically, four, two ounces of coffee, two ounces of cocoa, one ounce of porcini powder, one ounce of cinnamon, and. Uh, one tablespoon of uh, kosher salt. Now, once we have that mixed together, we're going to take our 14 ounce filet. You really want to dredge this filet. Get it in there. And you can coat every square inch. How many ounces is that filet? That's a 14 ounce filet mignon. 14 center ounce cut. center cut filet. Does it get any better? My than mouth that? is watering. And we're going to put this in our broiler, which is sharp broiled. Cook up to about medium, and that'll be perfect. Cook this up to medium. We're going to finish it by putting this ancho chili butter on top. A lot of butter, because butter is good. We're going to flash that in here. Melt that butter over the top. It's going to give us a nice sauce. Blend it together with the coffee and the cocoa. And we're going to top it with uh, just some fried angry onions, and that'll be everything. While the mac and cheese is baking and the filet is grilling, I'm here with sommelier Ryan, and he's going to talk about the best pairings. Ryan? How are you? Welcome. We are one of the very few steakhouses all the way across anywhere that will actually do our own wines that are actually handpicked uh, primarily by our own uh, corporate advisors to go through with Napa Valley. We have a Sauvignon Blanc. This is the first vintage for the Sauvignon Blanc. This has actually come from Koundé Vineyards. And he has handpicked these. Uh, this actually comes from Sonoma Valley. 
great with seafood. I know we are a steakhouse, uh, but we do offer great seafoods, and so we did make our own white wine to go along with those seafoods that are absolutely beautiful with those. The, uh, the Coco Rub Filet is we actually have our own brand of Smith & Walensky Cabernet. Uh, this actually comes right from the heart of Girard, which is in Napa Valley. Uh, the pairings that you're going to do with this is because the fact that this has any types of Coco Rub or cinnamon that is actually in that, the best pairing that you could possibly do is because it has that coffee rub in it, it is somewhat uh, for lack of a better word, bitterness to it, so you're going to want a Cabernet that's got a lot of tannin that goes along with that. So this is why we handpicked our uh, Cabernet to go along with that, so that the flavors will actually marry very, very well together. Alright? That sounds wonderful. Here's our mac and cheese. Well, I'm sure this mic will do it like butter. Like butter, yeah, you're right. Like butter. <laughs> I'm Tony with Easton. According to Smith Olensky, I have arrived. Join me next time and see what's cooking with Tony.